getting ready for church. We're almost there. I didn't have the time to show you guys everything I have on, but voila. Men's Camaro boots, Chanel sweater, Chanel belt, thick and white skirt, men's button down shirt. I'm going to carry my Chanel Coco or Top Handle. And my HM puffer jacket. And I don't even know what glasses I have on today. Oh, I'm gonna be smelling like Coco Mademoiselle Le Privé. Yes, yes. So on my way, on my way. I gotta go in the other closet to get some shades. So I'll see y'all later. Bye bye. All right, guys, we are out. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. This is Jackie, aka Fabulous Jeff. Okay, you can tell my husband drove my Jeep to go get me gas yesterday because then my seat is all out of whack. Uh -huh. My seat is positioned the same way. All right, hold it now. I'm coming. You're going to wait. Sorry, I'm late for church. Pulling out that driveway without looking. What? Maybe neighbor arguing over who hit who. <laughs> Happy Super Bowl Sunday, guys. It's kind of cloudy today. It's like not even a good day to barbecue. For those of you who are having a Super Bowl party, shush. I'm going to cook. That's what they want me to do. It's like, can I have a chill day? No. I'm not cooking for three people, but you would think I'm cooking for a whole lot of people. Because I, I have two healthy men in my house who eat a lot. Plus two male dogs. I'm the only queen bee in this house. <laughs> ah, my daughter lives way far away from me, but right now she's out of town, so. job of loving your neighbors right that when someone comes into to our church that, that when you see that there's a new person that you just gravitate and you're welcoming them right we do this little greeting time you're looking for the people that are unfamiliar and you're going to to say hi to them or the folks that are sitting by themselves you're you're the one that comes over and you 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 put your arm around and you say how are you doing today right some of you do a great job of that and some of us have some work to do but all of us are headed towards the kingdom, right? We're all one foot in front of the other. We're all headed that direction. And James' letter, in this section, when he's talking about partiality, he's talking to a group of folks that not, are not so different than us. We all have trials of various kinds. And we, too, are tempted sometimes to judge people the way the world judges them. To show partiality, to show personal favoritism. And so my prayer for us is, no matter what the person looks like who comes through that door, what their cultural, socioeconomic, geographic, whatever you want to say, whatever, when they walk through those doors, that they find that we are a people that welcome them. That we are a people who are glad to see them. We are people that love them. And that's going to take not just me, but that's going to take all of us 
to do that well. Let's pray. church it was oh somebody got my car over there look at that same my jeep same color you see see the blue thing is oh, cool. that's a two door though I think mine is that oh okay wrong move Jackie my bad okay perhaps I'm sorry yeah we just got out of church so it's a gloomy day in Southern California. Very gloomy. Uh, oh, no, it's a four door. Looky here, looky here. Oh, he's this uh, not a Wrangler. He's a Rubicon. Not a Wrangler, Rubicon. Oh, we like twinsies. The blue gyps. We're twinning over there. I can't wait for somebody to get here. I'm gonna put my top down. Let my hair fly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let my hobby say who you think you are. But anyway, oh my blue GB. You done turn the corner. So coffee face reps. Mm -hmm. We are going for coffee. I know you guys are probably tired of me. Doing my vlog every Sunday in the car. Ooh, red light, red light. But guess what? It's all I have for you guys. My lavender 
quite damn interesting. I'm a creature of habit. Same thing every time. <laughs> I would love to show you all something new, but sure. It is what it is. Okay, sisters from another mother, my beautiful divas. Alright. It's the same shebang. Once in a while I might wanna go somewhere else. I'm like in a bad broken road. for the car is too tall I need to find a shorter one which I used to have don't know where it's at. it's probably in your dad's Mercedes that's been sitting in the shop forever he refused to go pick that damn car it's like every day go get the car oh I will mm. anywho that's how much he loves it <laughs> anyway guys TMI but I have to vent I'm like tired of it. We're going to get coffee, 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 coffee. Maybe next week you won't drive. I'm tired of chauffeuring your behind. You need to drive your mama. Mm -hmm. So, but then again, my high blood pressure goes up. Not that he doesn't drive well, but Remy has a heavy foot. All these kids, they be trying to speed. It's like, where are you rushing to? He got a heavy foot. Then I'd be like, <gasps> clutching my balls. Like, no, stop, slow down, do this, don't turn. Uh, he hates it. When he has to drive me, he really does. He be like, mom, calm down. I can't help it. I'm a mother. That's what we do. We worry. Anyway, people. We are going to get some coffee. We are at Starbucks. Yes, we are. What you want, Remy? Uh -huh. We're right here. You haven't decided yet? You still typing it? Fine, they have something new. Is that what we're doing? No. Just looking. So we're here. Here's your suspect. There he is. Voila, but he's still looking at his phone, so. Church. Uh, church was good, church was good. Can't wait to go home. Keep my uh, face to a little hole. I'm getting the mocha cookie crumble frappuccino. You getting some coal in well, this weather? No, 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 white, white, white chocolate no, mocha. Listen, <laughs> Wait, hold on, I don't know, it's I'm confused. Body. I'm confused though. What do you mean confused? What did I tell you okay. about I know. drinking white, all the white chocolate drinks white, early in the morning? White. Calm down. <laughs> Slow your roll. White chocolate mocha. It's too early for some freaking hot. Frappuc oh, hot? Yeah. No, I'm talking about the one you wanted to get before. Oh. Boy, there's diabetes out here. Get it together. Mm hmm you know what you're a grown ass man if that's what you want to do before people come for me like oh my god poor Remy poor Remy nothing yeah. alright I think it's getting again? oh white chocolate mocha hot um what is it white chocolate mocha what, hot can I get a what, what size grande yeah White chocolate hot. White chocolate mocha. Oh, I'm sorry. White chocolate mocha hot. Okay. Grande size. Do you have the a tall pistachio latte? Hot. Okay, a tall pistachio latte. Yes. Hot. What else for you? A tall tikka from Americano. Okay. Hot with two two splendor and half and half. You got it. All right. Anything else for you? That's it. 
it's like we're a creature of habit people we drink the same thing this time i didn't get um what is it that i used to get caramel macchiato i got a pistachio Aha! i changed let me can i get my wallet my bag is back there it's like cha. a small one Yes, people, you know, you got to keep your kids in check. When you see them doing something that's not cool, I mean, not that I'm going to stop him from wanting his frappuccino or whatever. The, the thing is, he hasn't eaten all morning. Why is he putting some cold frappuccino in his system? Who does that? And you got to eat something first before you can... Okay, don't be making no face. <laughs> You gotta eat some first to not break my bag or else you're gonna find yourself at a Chanel store buying me another one. You got money. But anyway, I'm just saying, you gotta guide them. Can't force them. I can only suggest. I'm like, huh? What? So some people will be like, that's not a suggestion, Jackie. We are straight up say, giving your opinion. But I have to, or else Remy will live on sugar all day. Sugar, 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 sugar. That's all. You get some green drink. You know, I go to the store and buy you some. Go to Boba, get a green juice or something. All the sugar. Anyway, that's my two cents. Whether he likes it or not, that's on him. He's a grown ass man. Something hot at least. It's cold out here, but you're cold and you want a cold drink? What planet do you live in? Planet Earth or Planet Remy? Planet Me. Oh, okay. Yeah, see if his dad was here, oh my God, let the boy get what he wants. Mm. He can get it here, grown man. Because as a grown man, that don't mean I can't guide him. He's like, listen, sure. I'm not just going to throw him out there to the wolves. I have to guide him. Can't wait for you to have your own kids and let them say, Hey, Daddy, can we get some Frappuccino at early in the morning? I wonder what you will say. Probably be like, sure. <laughs> just like your dad does. Mm. His dad hates it when I insert myself. He'll be like, listen, if he wants a Frappuccino, he can get a Frappuccino. I'm like, okay. If he has diabetes, that's going to be on you. Not of me, not this girl. But I be trying to tell him. But then he want to come and say, oh, when I was growing up, I had those drinks and I ain't got no diabetes. Back then, when you were growing up, they ain't had no damn Starbucks. We had some Folgers <laughs> coffee. <laughs> I don't remember a Star. There was no Starbucks way back when, so he need to stop telling stories. You got some Folgers in your cup. <laughs> and some coffee made as a creamer. Now we got none but sugar in a cup. It's like, uh, you can indulge. I don't mind if he can get it in the afternoon. I just don't think it's wise. We go, we rush in the morning to go to church that we barely have any breakfast. And I be trying to tell him while he's downstairs, make yourself some oatmeal so you can hold your tummy in. See, now if he had oatmeal, he can have that frappuccino. Why you make yourself oatmeal this morning, Rams? I don't know, because I was busy. Busy? <laughs> no, was no, no, no. You didn't even do them damn dishes I told you to this morning. Oh, Fed the I... dogs, took them out, making your coffee. Oh, so, so much for me to do. Yeah. When your ass was in the dorm, <laughs> guess who did all that? You did? Yeah. That is my case. And I had time to eat me a bowl of oatmeal. After all that, you just gotta set yourself in a routine. If you get up on time, your chores should not take up your whole morning, but you be trying to be a lazy bum. I am not lazy. <laughs> what time do you get up? Eight. Eight is too late. Eight is not late. At your young age, seven o'clock 
experience. When I, I was your age, I got I mean, I still I had wake to go up to class, at like, I got to feed my face. I still wake up at like 7.30, but I go back to sleep and then I wake up at 8 o'clock. Now why would you do that? Because I need the extra sleep. <laughs> Who told you to go to bed late? Me. Mm -hmm. Smiley pants. <laughs> that's why your eyes be late and that's why you don't be getting no oatmeal in the morning that you, you need. You need some oatmeal in there. If, I, if, I, if you don't have anything else, a bowl of oatmeal is what you need. Mm-hmm. You know, once you have oatmeal, anything else you can, you're not gonna crave all that craziness. What did they order? You'll be good. Damn, what is he? What's she ordering today? No, it's like what they're taking forever. Here, just jibby jabby. <laughs> like, this what? One did they car. actually make it or something? Oh my god. Then she turned by the way one drink. What's she got a fade on her hair for? What's going on? Oh, Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah. She all. Starbucks people are all dressed up. Give me all the Marvel trailers from Super Bowl. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Better watch some Rihanna. Some Riri, Ella, Ella. Shine like a diamond. <laughs> I can't wait to see Rihanna today. It's like, that's the only thing I'm looking forward to. I just want to see her performance because. Nice. In Marvel trailers. I don't, I don't care about no Marvel. Hey, no, that's for me. <laughs> that's for me, though. Oh, yeah, Marvel trailers. I'm going to be in there, Mom. I'm going to be part of Marvel. Even, she even coming to the window, so I'm going to close myself in until she gets here. But, yeah. Mm. It's going to happen. It's going to shine bright like a diamond. And Ella, Ella, And Bella. lift me up. <laughs> and lift me up. I got you a cup holder. Oh, I didn't want one, but thank you. I appreciate it. I, I really do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, figure it out. Mm. Oh, just watch. Watch, watch. Can I get two strong, small straws too? Yeah. Okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna this. You, go. you can just thank You're you. Welcome. All right. Have you can put, You do the same. Let me put them here. Let's figure it out. So she was being nice, Remy. True. Yeah. I think is that your brandy? Hold your brandy. Put your dad's. On. I don't know if this is mine. You have to check. It's the it's a brandy. The rest of us have tall. Oh yeah, this is mine. <laughs> okay, Einstein. Yours is bigger than everybody else's. Oh, I thought that was a grande too. Well, That's why. Yeah, that got a top. Yeah, yeah it's it's No, no, no. Okay. We we're trying to get ourselves together. No <laughs> All right. Thank you. Can you gonna push me out the driveway until I'm situated? How many times am I gonna say that, people? He's like, you need to go. Don't care. All right. Which one is mine? Which one is mine? Okay, we're gonna before we're gonna go straight to Seoul right now because I gotta pick up something. I told him I'll be there on Sunday. Oh damn. Okay, can you open this? I'm having a hard time. Sorry, lady behind me. I don't even know which one is mine. Which one is mine? I got a pistachio. This looks like a pistachio. It feels very not, not hot. Let me put the straw in there for you because you got a lot of stuff going on in your hands. Put it in there. Oh, excuse you. I can multitask. Can you? In case you don't know. When your ass was a baby and you go to sleep, mm -hmm. I had to eat so fast mm -hmm. before you can get up. Sure. I was multitasking. Yep. Cooking. Cool. <laughs> Making sure I get a nap too. Why you nap? Mm -hmm. You are a cry baby. Cry, cry, cry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, gee, this is. This is yours. Is that my is that a pistachio for you? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah check the Who label. Open the floor gates. Yeah, Remy was such a cry baby. You all don't even know. He will cry. I'll be like, Lord, can I get some rest? <laughs> mm. Even though get he a was a preemie, preemie after he grew, he just cry his little ass out and the only time he will stop crying is if I put him in the car and drive we used to just drive so Remy can go to sleep yeah, for no damn reason what you need oh no I'm good nah ah lady oh, oh guy what you doing why are you giving me the mean look you're the one that came into my lane. Dumb, dumb. 
thing. Yeah, it's a guy. They gonna give me a mean look like I did something wrong. Let's we'll sit down somewhere. It takes everything. Can I get that little car over there? I don't know why I went this way. Damn. A little a hole. Excuse my friend, just get out of church. God, please forgive me. Jeez. Sometimes I can't help myself. Especially when people are acting crazy on the road. Alright, what is that noise? Can you take that out of there before it spill? And we have water everywhere. Oh my god. Okay. This guy not even better try me. Keep trying to come on my lane. Sorry. There you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me the look. Cut me off, I cut you off. That's how we're going to play that game. You know you don't want to hit me because your car will be in pieces. And I'll still be good. I'm turning. He see my signals and he's blocking me from turning. Make it make sense, people. Human kindness. So I had to cut him off. I'm like I got it. I got to exit. I don't have road rage. I just don't like stupidity. I'm the calmest driver in my house. My husband is a tyrant on the streets. It's like, uh, and Remy is becoming a mini tyrant, but I'm trying to teach him not to be. Like his daddy. I am not a mini tyrant. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not a like mini you are, tyrant. You got your moments. <laughs> no, I Even don't. Even when you're not driving and someone's like, oh my God, where is he going? Do, do, do. I'm like, are you driving, Remy? No. Like, you know me, it's getting mad when people cut me off. People be like, jeez. I'll be like, uh, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you do that. Tell this truth and shame the devil. Oh, it's hot in here. Alright, brother man. What's he, what's he looking at? Like, what, what, what? Mom, we're in a blue Jeep and we look nice. What do you expect? <laughs> Is that what he looking at? Well, I don't know because, like, we have a blue oh, is he Jeep at his and we face? have. Could it be that? Is nice the person looking? inside the Jeep he's looking at? His face? Maybe. Not about the Jeep now. The Jeep don't make me. I'm saying it could be both. No, you didn't say that. Can I get my water? You said he's, he's looking at your blue Jeep. Nah, he's looking at the person in the Jeep. I can say it's both. All this fabulous city. That's what he's looking at. He can tell us about my, sh my car. Oh, this water is nice and cold. All right, so we are going to sign off. I gotta go pick up something somewhere. And I don't want this to be the longest haul ever. Being that I didn't uh, vlog, I didn't do anything. Pistachio latte is good. I've always loved pistachio. Anything pistachio, I'm for it. Don't have that much sugar, people. So don't be saying, what about you? Are you having? I'm a good ass boy. This ain't got that much sugar. And it's hot. Not Einstein over here who wants a frappuccino. Mm -hmm. Cold. I see him, Remy. I see him going. Sorry, yeah, nobody's worried. It's just not what we're doing. Let me cut up this person. Yes, I'm going to be turning soon. Yeah. Turn soon. Oh, excuse me, 
police here. It's like you need Remy talking about you need a turn signal. Listen, I'm, I've been driving way before you were even thought of. Hey, turn so, signal. Turn signal, my foot. I know what I'm doing. You gotta use turn signal. You know I was coming. There was enough space for me to depot my way in. I don't need a tongue signal every time. Like, ooh, clicky, clicky, clicky in my ear. But anywho, I'm gonna sign off. And then I'll see you all later when I get home. Oh my God. Peace. Until next time. Hey guys. Welcome, 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 welcome back. We're home. Yes, after 20 million stops, running around, hobby texting me, can you get this? Can you get that? I'm like, huh. But anyway, we're home finally. So let me do my gratitude. Now I got to go cook for the Super Bowl. They want me to cook. I was just going to order some wing stuff, but they don't want that. They want home cooked meal. So if you're new here, welcome haha -ha. this is jackie aka fabulous jet welcome 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 to our fabulous channel we are all about fabulous divas who know better we don't break the bank because we know what we know better anyway guys and if you think you're that girl please subscribe because it's a sisterhood yes of nothing but fabulosity divas and then some and sisters from another mother Are cool all right, guys, so enough of my shenanigans. We're home. We saw my little vlog. I had to drive, so I had to keep you guys entertained and picking on Mr. Remy. Who, am I, who else am I going to pick on? I ain't going to pick on Hobby because he's home, so I got to pick on Remy. He's right there. <laughs> it's all love, guys, so don't even come for me. It's all love. I love my son. I would do anything for my son, but I got to make him stronger because he's such a such a good 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 man i wouldn't say boy because he's in his 20s he's a good man and i'm just trying to make sure no woman take advantage over his niceness so i gotta toughen him up you know as an african mother we don't be playing or as a black mother we don't be playing oh cool all right so but yeah we do not raise useless men <laughs> The Africans will say, you're a useless man. But no, we don't do that here. We make sure they are tough and they go get us. All right? So he got to be able to take it from his mom. So if somebody else dish it to him, he'll be like, I've been there, done that. My mom, you know, I'm used to it. But anyway, it's a day of gratitude. Enough of my mess, a little TMI. But I got to keep it real. There ain't no sugarcoating anything here. We keep it real. Okay? So, I want to thank everybody that made the train. It was a short, sweet ride. I mean, I got out of that train yesterday and I still had energy to be able to go to the grocery store and get some stuff for Super Bowl Sunday. Because usually I'd be so tired and I, I see what my husband was saying. Cut it short. Don't take it all the way to 5 30, 6 o'clock. Even though. We were close to five because of last minute belt shopping. So we were a little bit late, close to five. My husband goes like, you still went a little bit too late. And I was like, well, people were asking questions. What was I supposed to do? Like, okay, bye, I gotta go. No, that's rude. The same thing I did when I was retail. When I was retail, I had clients. I used to get up at six o'clock, but then I have clients that will pull up at 5.50 and I'm like, looking at my watch, I'm like, got to be out of here but as soon as they walk in i'm stuck where are you going jackie can you please help me and jackie will be there till 7 30 instead of six and people are like jackie aren't you off i don't walk away from clients it's what i do i just don't i have to make my clients happy and the same thing i keep trying to tell my husband i cannot be rude i say goodbye see you all later we ain't doing that okay it's a sisterhood perseverance but anyway, guys, so thank everybody that was at the ride. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all my fabulous sisters. I appreciate you guys. Almost everybody was there, but maybe a few. And um, yeah, for those of you who were there, thank you. Thank you to the newbies. I appreciate you guys. 
I'm gonna first thank Miss Emma because I'm always used to I should thank her first because she's the OG of the train. Thank you, Miss Emma. Then I want to thank my lovely Jeannie who's always holding it down. Yes, thank you, Jeannie. Thank you, Gigi. It's another one. Thank you, Claude, my queen. I thank um Tracy Pride popped in and popped out. Thank you, Shima B, all the way from the UK. And um thank you, Bri Holly. Thank you, Pam Green. Thank you, Cheryl Williams. Thank you, Cheryl Jennings. Thank you, Sassy. Thank you, the Directress 1712. Thank you, um, who am I missing? Yes. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Don. And um, thank you, Siwo, my beautiful sister. Thank you, uh, Sarah A. Whew. How do I miss those sisters? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, I didn't see Katia White, but hope all is well. I didn't see St. John Lover. Hope all is well. Uh, thank you, Jane Julian, all the way from Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you, Star Mevin. I hope you enjoy your carnival. I know you were busy, busy. So, um, all the way from Canada. And, um... Oh, my my new people thank you simone thank you um glenda thank you i'm just like crown with a tiara thank you oh my god my brain is like ha 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 i'm trying to remember everyone and if i don't remember your name guess what i still love you i just my brain is just a little bit it'll come back to me it will thank you clan can bless life i don't know if you were there but thank you I know uh, Monica Spero, didn't see you, but thank you for supporting because I got an email or uh, something I got from you that you were busy falling asleep, <laughs> got some good old rest. I hope you feel better. And um, my newbies, there are a couple of people that are new. Thank you, Liz. And... Uh, there's some people that we knew it's like where is my brain where is my brain where is my brain and thank you tracy pride you're always there you're the, you're a busy chick tracy but i appreciate you and i uh, thank you um jeez jackie where are all my newbies where i don't have my shit i try not to bring the shit upstairs because i think that's just that's not personal enough because then you'll be like just reading oh Thank you, Deanna Smith. Ha <laughs> ha. And I miss you, sweetie. Oh my God. No. With all due respect, I'm sorry. Thank you, Deanna Smith. Thank you. Thank you. See, my brains are not working. Thank you, Life of Deanna. Yes, you showed up a little late, but you still showed up. Oh my God. I almost forgot Deanna Smith. It's like, huh? What? All right. I tell you guys, sometimes this brain. Maybe I need some ginkgo biloba or something. I don't know. But I eat, an, I, I eat good, you know? I eat good. But I be forgetting. <laughs> Too much up in here. And um, who else? Stacy. Yeah. Or is it Stacy? Already. Yeah. Stacy. I thank you. Anywho, guys. Oh. Who else did I forget? If I forgot your name, I'm sorry. I didn't see a lot of you guys. I hope all is well. So, but anyway, it's Sunday. We always give gratitude to what? Handbags. Bag. Guys, I have been on a handbag. Um, What should I call it? Diet. <laughs> Restriction. So, I haven't bought handbags for a long time. So... What I've been doing is I'm revamping my shoe closet. So I'm more more like a shoe fanatic right now. I'm like, ah, oh, with the, what do they say? Throw the old and in with the new, something like that. Whatever they say, that's what I'm doing. I might not get it right, but that's what I'm doing. So where do I usually get my shoes from the real real? Especially if I'm looking for luxury. I mean, I went to... Neiman's the other day and I went to Nordstrom's. You guys saw that. The shoes were like a thousand dollars, twelve hundred, fourteen hundred, eighteen hundred. Then the few that were on sale was six hundred, five fifty. Honey, I got mortgage to pay for shoes. I don't mind if it's a bag. 
But it's a shoe. I'm going to step on it. I'm going to hit the ground. I'm going to take it off. I'm going to kick it out. Why am I spending $2,000 for a shoe? When you're walking on the street, is everybody looking at your feet? Even though today I did get a few compliments about my Vince Camuto boots. It's like, oh my God, I love your boots. But it's not like what you want to focus on. You focus on your outfit and your face. If they don't see your shoe, who cares? You still look fabulous. That's what I say. Anyway, guys, let's not make this haul too long. Let me show you guys what I got from the real real. First is this. The only reason I got this Mark by Mark Jacob shoes is sling bags. And I figured it was it was cute. I needed some I needed a dark taupe. I have a couple of taupe shoes, but they're extremely high. But then when I saw this and the real real mark by mark jacobs it was a good buy too i've been seeing this shoe for a long time but i waited for it to you know be on sale like next to nothing so i picked it up i think i paid 20 dollars for this shoe there's nothing wrong with it just a beautiful sling back a little wear to it not that much the heels are still all there and good so yeah I mean, very soon we are going to take away our boots and it's time to pull out the shoes. And I love me a good sling back. So when I saw this on the side and it was my size, I'm like, $20? Hello, I could wear it to church a couple of times and voila. It's still going to be of value instead of all the fast fashion shoes that we're buying and then like you go to the sites and buy all these fast fashion shoes and then it's just for the train. That's why I'd rather go to Didi's and buy those fast fashion shoes because if I wear them one season and I can wear them the next season, guess what? I didn't pay that much. What, $12, $11? I could donate the stuff. I got my money's worth. But then if you want durability, then you go to pre-love sites and get all the shoes that will stay in your closet and you can pull them out every year nobody's going to tell me my shoes are outdated as long as they're comfortable that's what matters so we got that my next one still in a box and you guys know i think again with the box guys let me let me take it out of this box hold on hold on people the box fits exactly right. This came with a box. Dandy! But you know what? She took away. I appreciated it that it came with a box because these are Fendi gorgeous pump. Love the box. It took me a minute. I've been eyeing these shoes. I keep waiting for it to go down. But they keep going down by maybe three dollars, five dollars, and the last minute my husband goes like, "If you're gonna buy the shoe, just buy it before later on you be complaining like, oh my god, this was in my basket and somebody, my obsession, and then somebody bought it.' Then I'll be like, Psh, really? But anywho, it's well wrapped. You guys know I used to love Chanel. Chanel is my number one luxury brand. But my number two next luxury brand is Fendi. I'm loving Fendi. And Fendi used to be a thing that nobody cared for before. But then when they revamped and they came back strong, who don't want Fendi? I own a lot of Fendi pieces. Do we see this pump? On the front. And then on the inside, it's, it was barely used. Not that much. And I see why she still had the box. It's a size 38. Like I tell you guys, I have a thing. The 38s are a little snug, but I can make them work. The 39 are a little big, so I literally need a 38 and a half. But this, with one of my Fendi bags. Aha, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm wearing this I can carry that my baguette 
with this beautiful shoe that would be a vibe beautiful platform platform is in so we're looking back for all those old platform that we had before people had listed them now it's time to buy them all over again yes 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 so we can rock that i can even rock it with my fendi belts hello do we see that so this is gonna be cute together that's what i was that's what i was going for guys exactly what i was going for other fanny bags i'm gonna be able to go with this so so cute so cute so i want to take off my boots and try this on girl i have on my boots and i think my legs are a little ashy but we could try one pair my boots out of the way Oh, no. Oh, Alright. Let's try. Let's take off the Vince Komodo. Let's see how the Fendi fits. I hope my legs are not swollen. Oh, there they go. Boom. There is it. Voila. Nice pump, huh? If you just sit there and you show your beautiful leg, cross your feet, it's like, who's going to tell you? I didn't pay $700. I didn't. I think I paid 108 for this one. Because I think most of this, well, no, 700 is usually for their athletic wear, sports wear. But this shoe probably retails for like 1200 because the other one that I had in a box, that retail for, that one had a price. See this one? This one retail for, it still has the price. This one retail for $7.89. And it was this snake skin one. This one. And I know the pump, because this was cheaper when I bought it. And I know the pumps are a little bit more expensive. So I would say that probably retail for like $1,100 or $1,200. But like I said, your girl didn't pay that much. Nope. No sorry, Bob. So yeah, those are my two, 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 <laughs> two, two. Those are my two luxury shoes I bought from the real real. I'm going to give it a break for now. Because lately I've been um, lately I've been finding a lot of boots in the walls, in the thrifting walls, and I'm like, enough with the shoes, Jackie. Just give it a rest. Maybe I need to go back to handbags. I'm trying to purge. If you guys notice, my handbag is not as full as it used to be because I'm purging a lot. Yes. You know what else I found when I went, I, I don't know if you guys remember when I said I was going to go to Dillard's and return some of those shoes because I got them online cheaper. Oh, this is not the one. What did I do with it? Okay, I'll do that some other time. I did get a Vince Camuto shoe, but uh, I think, how do I deal with it? I just don't know. I'll do that another time. I'll probably do a Dillard's haul, and that's when I would do that. Only because I was told after Valentine's Day, all their sales shoes are gonna be out on the floor, so I don't need to go online anymore because I don't have to pay for shipping. Because that shipping be getting me. You think you're getting a deal, then <clears throat> when you put it, you put a tax, then they do the shipping, then you're gonna, huh? What's the point? I just saved, what, $15? That's it? <laughs> I'm not saying $15 is not a lot, but when you're looking for deals, you're looking for like, oh my God, I saved $30. I know 15 Not even up to 20 And Anyway, guys, this is it. I got to go downstairs. They're waiting for me. This is what I'm wearing today. My Chanel sweater. 
my Ralph Lauren men's button-down shirt. As you see, I kind of tucked in a little so I can show my Chanel belts. My skirt is by DKNY, Donna Carey, New York. Very poofy, very stiff. My boots are by Vince Camuto. Gorgeous. Um, embossed snake skin. And um, I have on my, my clicks, MS, and some David Yearman and a fashion LA, LA showroom David Yearman, the red one. It's the dupe. My Chanel pearl earrings, only because my sweater has pearls in them, so I had to match. Then I'm still rocking the fro. It's Black History Month, so why are we wearing straight hair? We should be wearing our crowns. Voila, so here's my crown. Ha, 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 ha. Thank you, Janine. And I um, told so you guys, Janine is like my hairstylist. She knows how to make a girl look good. All right, and I'm carrying my Chanel purple handle. Or is it a top handle? I'll be forgetting the name, so don't come for me. It's been a minute since I worked for Chanel. When I worked for Chanel, those bags were not around, so it is what it is. I'm smelling like Coco Mademoiselle. Le Privé. Oh no, this is La Nuit. Coco Mademoiselle La Nuit. That's not why I sell this Le Privé. La Nuit. It's what the girl smelling like. That's how I went to church. Smelling good. Because you want to smell good. Okay. Because we'll be, we be hugging after church. You want somebody to appreciate that you took the time to smell good. So that's what I do. All right, guys. Enough of my shenanigans. I'll see you later. And yeah. Sometime within the week. Oh, I forgot to try the Mark Jacobs shoes. I don't need to try on a sling bag. It is what it is. It's a sling bag. Who cares? Do you want to see it all? Shush. This one is the way you try the Fendi. You might as well try the Mark by Mark Jacobs. Let's try it. Try it on. So you have to see how it fits. I'm about to not put those boots back on after I do this. They're comfortable though. I have those Vince Camuto boots in three different colors. Black, blue, and red. I was on a rampage. As she fits, but do you see the sling bags? They are gorgeous. Just to wear, da -da -da. with some Vaseline or baby oil on their legs. Look at that. Just but anyway guys it is what it is like it or not it's fabulous yeah the shoes are very comfortable very comfy i cannot tell you how comfortable the sling bags are yay mark by mark jacobs yay i can wear it and carry a mark jacob bags or mark by mark jacob bags and i'll be good i did say bye guys but that's me my buys are never buys i'm like hey wait a minute Come back here. <laughs> Alright guys. Hope you enjoyed my little vlog. It wasn't much. But it's something for you to watch if you feel bored after the Super Bowl. If you like, right, let's watch Jackie himself. The Super Bowl. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Don't watch Rihanna. Half time. Cannot wait. I just want to see her performance. I just I'm waiting. It's like Rihanna, do not disappoint. Because uh, everybody think you're going to do great. So the pressure is on, really. All right, guys. Let me get up out of here. Peace, love, happiness. And I'll see you within the week. Okay, guys? Bye-bye.